We did a survey at one of these small um, fruit conferences and those were the two topics that were listed as the ones that you wanted to hear most about in terms of water issues, so it's one of the reasons why we're covering them today. I'm going to start by giving you just a brief overview of sort of the water quantity or supply situation here in Whatcom County. Not all of you may be from Whatcom County, but some of these uh, topics may be familiar to you. Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's not the right thing, uh, Chris. <laughs> this is a test. This is throwing me off my time. <laughs> this is the PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who, who's up now, Sue? This one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Okay, so in Watkin County, just to give you a, a big picture overview, this is a graph that is illustrating the uh, acres of crops that are irrigated. And one of the things I want to point out is that the blueberries and raspberries are on the left-hand side, and those are the two crops that we actually are having increased uh, numbers of irrigated acres. Everything else has been actually going down over time. And uh, no surprise, as all of you know, irrigation is required for those crops. The red line there represents uh, the amount of irrigation water needed for raspberries um, over the summer and early spring and um, later into the summer period. And the blue and the other graphs are actually rainfall at one of the sites. And it's a good illustration of the fact that um, we need irrigation because we don't get rain when we need it. But those irrigation needs are actually just one of multiple uh, water demands in our area. Uh, other consumptive uses include homes, businesses, industries, um, and then there's also the water that needs to remain in streams and lakes, uh, uh, legally referred to as sort of the in-stream flow component that we need to make sure that we are also accommodating. We have a legal system, both state and federal reserved rights system, that is intending to find a balance for um, how to allocate water to make sure there is water for irrigation as well as water for fisheries and other things. I'm going to show you um, the next slide is really sort of underscores why is this such a big issue here and the in-stream flow needs or the water that needs to remain in stream, one of the big uh, drivers for that are um, Chinook salmon, um, and this we have, Chinook salmon are an endangered species here in Whatcom County, and this graph illustrates um, the two species that we're most concerned about, the spring uh, Chinook from the Nooksack as well as the, um, let's see, South Fork and North Fork spring Chinook. What you see with the green bar is what we think were the historical numbers, um, and the blue bar just to the left of that is the uh, the targets for planning, but the red, as you can see, is down in the, you know, there's hardly any fish coming back. And so when we talk about why do people care about irrigation demands relative to the fisheries, this is one of the big drivers. It's not just the volume of water in the stream that is a concern, but low flows mean low temperatures which affect the fish. So um, our existing legal system is challenging for us. This, this uh, particular picture represents what are called the closures or the status of closures uh, for water rights in our area. All of you need to have a water right for irrigation purposes. If you don't and you're trying to get one, anything you see there in red is a place where they're not issuing rights. There's also the other colors represent partial year closures or other conditions that are placed on. It's a challenging situation here. So um, it's one of the things that we've been trying to deal with. We're not going to be able to get into all these details if you're interested this, um, this morning, but we want to give you sort of a flavor of how you can explore and learn a little bit more about where you might be in the state system and Casey's uh, is going to talk about that in just a second and um, we'll, you'll also hear about the federal reserved right system which is part of this whole legal picture that you need to understand. Finally, um, we did a two-day water supply symposium. This is a big enough issue for everybody in our county that um, in the spring of last year we did a two-day symposium on the topic and 
If you're interested in looking at some of those presentations, they're available on this site. Um, and we will be doing more events over the coming year if this intrigues you and is something you want to pursue. So with that,